All right, guys, welcome to part one of my complete course on After Effects. Today, we're going to be looking at how to do some really simple masking. So let's get into the video. All right, guys, Neil from Neil Conj Recording. Welcome to my channel if you're new. Welcome back to my channel if you're not. Either way, appreciate you watching this video. So this is the first real part of my complete course on how to learn after Effects. You watch this video here, just runs through the screen layouts and some really basic functions on After Effects just to get you going. But this tutorial today is where we really start to use After Effects in your films. The aim of this course is to take you from a beginner's level right up to professional level, following me as we learn together from the really simple stuff right up to the more complex motion graphics. So, Today, we're just gonna learn some really simple masking. Each one of my tutorials is gonna be real bite size, easy to follow. I'm not gonna to cram too much into each tutorial so that you have nice bite size tutorials that you can dip into to learn aspects of After Effects. So let's jump into After Effects and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so here we are inside After Effects. Now, your screen should look something like this. It might be a slightly different layout depending on how you've decided to set your screen up. The intro video I made before will help you with the layout if you're not sure how all this works. If you haven't watched that video, I would go back and watch it just so you know what all these different sections do. So what I'm gonna show you today will only really work with static video. And what I mean by that is video where you're just set at one point and not moving around because we're gonna mask a portion of the video out and leave the rest and you can only really do that with a simple masking technique when it's static. Now obviously when we move on to more complex masking then it doesn't matter if the video moves or not because there's ways of making the masking move with the video. But for the purpose of this video you want a video what you shot on a tripod preferably that's not moving and it's just taking a constant video of the same point. I've just recorded a band video and I'm going to use part of that. So I'm going to double click in my project panel. Okay, and the video I want is this one. So I'm going to import this video. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this video onto my timeline. And this will create a new composition. And here we have Laz standing on a log. So for the purpose of this video, what we're going to do is we're going to mask out this log so it's separated from the rest of the image, okay? And the way we do that is using these tools in the top left hand corner, you wanna choose the pen tool, okay? So we'll click on that, We've got our pen tool selected. And then all we're gonna do is we're gonna follow the line of the log. So if you wanna make the screen a little bit bigger, go to the magnification ratio pop up, click on that, and then just let's choose 200%. And then if you wanna move it around, you just left click and hold the mouse and then you can move it up and down. Okay, so now we can move that to there and drag it around. Okay, so we've got our pen tool and we're just gonna draw around this log. So we can start off screen and then we're just gonna make little pointers that follow the line of this log. Okay, so you want to be as accurate as you can. Now, in this one, I think Laz actually does a really good job of not even moving his feet. So, but obviously, they are going to move at some point. But again, we'll go into more complex masking in another video. For the purpose of this one, I'm just showing you some really simple stuff. So, we're going to go around this log. Now, Obviously, if we're doing it properly, we'd probably go around this twig as well, but for the purpose of this, we're not. We're just gonna cut through that, around the log. And we're gonna leave that log behind. And we're just gonna carry on down this one. Okay, we're gonna go to our pointer tool. So we can just hit V. And we're just gonna drag the image over. And we're gonna go back to our pen tool or just hit G and we're just gonna carry on along here. And as before, if we're doing it properly, we would obviously go around this log, but for the purpose of this one, we're just gonna cut straight across. Okay, and that's the whole thing. Now we can end off screen, that's fine. Doesn't matter if you go off screen. So we want all of this. We're gonna to go to V again so we can move our image around. 
Okay, and then we're going to select the pen tool again, which is G. And then we're just going to finish by linking that up. Okay, and now we've made a mask for just the log. So we're going to go back to 100% for the screen. Now we have a mask for just the log. So now we can do individual effects and colors just on this log and it won't affect any other part of the image. So let's just type in tritone. It's just a color effect. So you can drag that onto the image itself or you can drag it onto the timeline or you can drag it down here. So, and then we just drop it on there. And then what you see is in the project panel at the top, we've now got these effect controls. And also, if we click down here on this arrow, it'll open up where it says effects. We've now got tritone and we have all these effects underneath. Okay, and then what we can do is we can just change the colors of this log by clicking on the highlights, midtones, or shadows. So let's just go real sort of, let's go to blue. Let's change it to blue. Give it a deep blue. And then if you want to add that mask to the composition, so we'll bring the rest of the image back in. We're going to go to compositing options and just click plus. We'll go to V and we will drag our photo back to where it should be. And now you can see, if you play the video through, you can see that the log is a really weird shade of blue. It looks ridiculous and crap but you can see how you would mask out individual parts of the image, okay? And you could then add any effects to that mask. So if you wanted to add any other effect just to that masked bit of the image, then you would just drag and drop onto the masked part of your image, okay? So that's it for this one. Like I said, these After Effects tutorials are just gonna be really nice, easy to digest, short tutorials. And we're just gonna learn After Effects bit by bit until we're all professionals. So stick with me on this. This is just the first part. As the series progresses, we're going to do more and more complex stuff, but it's important to get the basics right first and then we can progress from there. So hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, please do give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Let me know that you found it useful and you're on board with the course. If you're not already, please do consider subscribing to my channel. I'm releasing content on a Monday and Thursday at the moment. Audio and visual gear reviews, After Effects tutorials, Premiere Pro tutorials, editing tutorials, drone tutorials, all that sort of thing. So it'd be great to have some new faces on board. If you are already subscribed, appreciate you as always. Please do make sure your notifications are on so I can let you know when new tutorials are released. That's it for this one. I'll catch you in the next one.